All right, guys. So I am um, I'm jumping in here today with something that uh, I get asked uh, at least a couple times a day, I'm sure. And um, I know that a lot of you guys have been um, waiting for something like this. So um, hopefully, um, hopefully this is uh, right up your alley. But uh, we're going to be doing a tutorial today. And I know I've done tutorials in the past, and I've uh, I've done some process stuff before, which, um, you know, for me, I think that that's the stuff that you're going to learn the most from, is uh, learning, you know, the tools, the processes, how things go, how to use the tools, um, rather than, um, you know, a step-by-step -step guide. But it seems fairly anonymous that... Um, uh, sorry, unanimous, not anonymous, uh, that you guys are, um, are after selling, which is just... Like laying it out step by step, boom, line here, boom, line there, boom, line there. So, um, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to work on, uh, on on the piece that you see right now. This uh, the the Captain America. We're going to do some uh, obviously some Minecraft stuff. That's what you guys are um, are digging right now. You guys have probably heard of it. Yeah. So I mean, uh, yeah, we're going to crack on with that, and I'm going to literally just real time it, and we're going to do it right now. I'm going to tell you where to put stuff, where to do everything blah blah um so yeah it's gonna be good um i hope you enjoy it uh, and that's my uh, disclaimer i guess now uh, my microphone is um hopefully close enough that you guys can hear me right i'm gonna have to turn my head a little bit while i'm drawing but uh aside from that we should be good all right so let's get started so um as you can see i've already done my rough here i didn't want to um sit you guys through that so uh that is that is laying down there. That's the, those orange lines that you can see. Now I've knocked that down to about forty percent opacity. That's what it looks like when it's um, when it's full. Um, I'm actually going to provide that as a JPEG for you guys to download. So uh, I'm going to give you the final file um, to sort of trace over because um, you know no one ever got better by tracing. Um, I'm going to give you guys the um, uh, the, the rough. And um, that'll be good. You guys can lay that down and then um, sort of, you know, work off exactly the same thing that I did. And it, 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 when you're working with the rough, you're not tracing. That's the number one thing that I always say is that you are not tracing it. You are not looking to replicate it exactly. Uh, you are looking to, uh, you know, keep your line work loose and stuff like that and use it as a guide in terms of composition and, um, and stuff like that. All right. So what I'm going to also do is give you guys my uh, canvas size. A lot of you guys ask that. This one is actually pretty big because it's a portrait. So you can see it's 5787 pixels width and height. Uh, so close to 6000 pixels at 350 DPI. Uh, you don't, absolutely don't need to do it that big, but if you do match that size, then you'll be able to match my brush sizes as well. So um, if that is of interest to you, then uh, yeah. Now I'm going to try and keep this to about uh, half an hour, probably a bit, bit over that actually, because I'll get the color portion done as well. But um, I'm going to try and move th through things quickly, but... Um, also trying to explain stuff as I go. All right, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the uh, G pen, and I'm going to have a brush size of about 70, I think. Uh, a lot of you guys that have seen my work are going to know that um, my uh, my line work on the outside is fairly thick. Uh, this is actually really weird talking while <laughs> talking while working. Uh, we'll see how it goes. And uh, the number one thing that I like to say um, first up, this is the number one thing that. Um, most people, when they send me Minecraft stuff, it's, um, you know, it, it happens a lot. And this is something that I try and speak about a little bit um, in the stream. If you guys catch that sometimes. And that's this concept of two-point perspective, which is, you know, in very basic terms. Something like that. That makes no sense at all. But if you get some time, jump in to um, do a Google and, and look and just do some basic, even just a basic overview of two-point perspective because so many times I see you guys drawing heads like this. All right, hang on. I don't even know if I can do it. And really, there's nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> but you'll see when I'm sort of working on things and you'll see some other artists who do, who do stuff as well. You've got to work on this sort of perspective. Now, I exaggerated a lot. I understand that. That's part of my style. But, um, you know, in essence, what you're looking to do is something like this. So you see how rather than, you know, you, you've got your, you're fading out towards, uh, you know, these two points, you know, your horizon line on either side rather than sort of being a flat old boring box where you can see the top sort of thing, which is... Uh, it's that's a, sort of a top-down view rather than you know 
what we're what we're going for up here. So um, yeah, I mean, look, <clears throat> you can see how I sort of do that. So you got shorter angles on the sides. As I said, I exaggerated a little bit. It's completely up to you how you do it, but uh, that is one of the things that uh, people ask usually um, quite often. And the second thing I want to um, <clears throat> I want to tell you guys about how I work is I'm going to be doing the basic outlines first, um, and that is that is really really important I think anyway. Before you crack into uh, anything else, you want to keep uh, get all your line work in there so you know that your um, the character uh, sits right and the piece is perfect. I need to keep drawing while talking. This is going to be <laughs> going to be a bit difficult. Sorry guys, I'll see how I go. So. All right, we're working on the body. Uh, Minecraft bodies, uh, when you're working on anything, um, your bodies, you, I mean, we're taught to simplify things into basic shapes. Like when you're drawing a face, you you start with a circle, you add your chin, and then you, you know, uh, you, then you do your eye lines and stuff like that. With Minecraft, it's good because um, the, you do the basic shapes and then you leave them like that. So you got to treat your, so you treat your head as a box and your body as like a rectangle, basically. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. I'm going to have a little bit of a twist on his body here, so I'm going to, um, again, with this perspective sort of stuff, I'm, I'm slanting this up a little bit. Keep it, I mean, you, you've really got to keep a sort of, um, um, you, know, you know, keep this element of perspective and this concept in your head when you're doing this sort of stuff, and uh, it will change things completely. So you can see I'm just trying to get my, uh, my line right here. Um, I'm going to do him a little bit top heavy, um, you know, stylize that a little bit. You guys will see that my lines disappear a lot as well. A lot of people ask me what the what the heck's going on, either why I undo it or why it's deleting and stuff like that so often. And for me, what happens when I start doing work, before I even lay down a line, I know how I want it to look. It's in my head, and um, I'm just going to shift my tablet down a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, I'm battling a little bit of a cold here, but... Um, I, uh, yeah, I know how I want the line to look in my head, um, before I lay it down. And that's, um, and so basically when I lay down a stroke, I can easily hit that. I have my finger on the undo button on my Wacom. Um, because, yeah, basically I, if it comes down and it doesn't look exactly how I want, it's, um, you know, as you can see, I just bang, bang, bang until I get it. Um, it's, it's weird seeing other people, you know, other artists have uh, different methods. I see some artists that are really sort of, you know, methodical and slow in their line work, which, uh, is probably better than my method because, I mean, they do it once and it's perfect because they take their time. For me, I'm more sort of, um, I wouldn't say haphazard, but, you know, fast, quick strokes, um, it keeps things pretty smooth and it keeps things fairly loose as well. The whole thing about my artwork is, um, as a lot of you guys um, who have seen it before will know, um, I, I have a lot of variation in line width and I keep things nice and loose and stuff like that. That's just my style. That's just a matter of style, whether you replicate that or whether you have something. Um, and a lot of people um, work in almost like a, a just a, like literally a one width, um, the, the, I mean the same width throughout the entire piece. And I mean, that's okay too. So um, however, you, uh, however you go with things is... Um, it's perfectly fine. All right, so you can see that I've done this top half here for this body, and then I've actually done this um, the the belt. The belt. You can see these lines. Like if I if I wanted to, I could have put these here, you know. But what you want to do is you want to add that. You, you know, especially with Minecraft stuff, which is so basic, you're always looking for ways to expand it and sort of, you know, add a bit more detail to it. So you can see I've widened the belt out a little bit to to show that level of depth. Yeah, you know, we can even go a little bit higher here, uh, you know, a little bit further and show. Um, you know, those thin lines there, which we may do when we go into detail. Um, <clears throat> now, we'll pretty much just uh, crack down to the uh, the legs here. Um, one of the things which is, which is difficult with Minecraft characters, which I struggle with in posing and stuff like that, is when you draw like a, a leg or when you stand up, and you put your feet apart, you can see that your knees are sort of tilted and facing outwards. And that, I mean that doesn't that just doesn't happen on uh, on a Minecraft character because normally your legs move on on the characters they move back and forward. There's no rotation at all. So showing these different um, stances can be a little bit tricky at times. Um, but you can see what I'm doing. So this one might look uh, so yeah. Sometimes it can look a little bit janky when you sort of turn the legs a little bit to to show a pose like an open stance like this. But um, I mean. There is other ways of handling it. You'll see how other artists handle it, but uh, you'll just see the way that um, that I tend to do it. 
Um, you know, I don't do a full open like I would with um, with a normal character, but I still sort of open it up you know, quite a bit. So yeah, so basically what we're going to do is, is I'm blocking in the feet here, and you'll see that I, I will um, I will when I lay down these lines, I'm not doing a a flat line like this. That's going to show no depth. Okay, you know that that looks a bit weird. So remember this this aspect of perspective, and, and it becomes it does become natural. I, I promise you that. Um, to the point where I'll actually sort of draw a full line along, something like that. I know I want the foot to end about here. Now I'm not going to match that line exactly, okay? Now I could, but what I'm going to do is this element of perspective, this large or small sort of thing, I'm going to bring that in a little bit, okay? I'm actually going to follow that line all the way along, you'll see why in a second. And then I'm going to do an even smaller line over here where I want that to match up. And then I can do my joining lines coming through here. And can you see how I overhang that a little bit? I'll do that quite a bit. And then once I'm happy with how that sits, then I can come in and I can just hold down my eraser here and just trim it up. Okay. You see that I'm not zooming in either as well. Now that I will start zooming. Actually, I don't need that last bit done just yet. Because what we do want is we want this, you know, we want to add this depth here to the foot. So I want to try and start up pretty tight to the groin and then yeah, pull it down. There we go, something like that. Now I know where I can erase. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this section here completely. All right. Like that, clean it up a little bit. Now, yeah, I'm not zooming at all. I'm literally um, staying at the one depth right now. When we start adding detail, we'll start zooming and we'll start panning and stuff like that. But right now, we're just trying to lay down our um, our basic shapes, get our composition looking good, and then we can start moving into detail as we need it. Now, um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have to I'm going to try and sort of match that line pretty much. You draw another line over here, and then that gives you that point where you can join it up. Uh, but it looks like we're fading away a little bit here, so we might actually just pull that in like that. And then we can run that along there. That looks pretty good there. So for the other legs, same deal. We're going to start with it. Now, see how I'm doing this in one stroke? I'm doing this in one quick stroke, and, that's, and don't worry if you overhang like that. It, the overhanging like that is okay. All right, so I'm going to try and get that curve in there. See, it's a subtle curve. I don't do uh, like sort of janky like this sort of thing. <clears throat> I could, I mean, that looks okay, but um, you know, right now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to add, um, keep it curving, keep the uh, the line sort of flowing pretty smooth. So you do go over it a couple of times. I'm just doing short little jabs. You can see it on the camera, my hand, how fast it's moving. That's not sped up or anything like that. That's real time. I'm gonna do the same thing here, coming down. Into something, yeah, I think that's, uh, 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 yeah, that's pretty good. So I've overhung a lot there, but that again, that doesn't matter. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this line and I'm going to, to almost like counter it on the other side, okay? It all looks a bit messy, but I know how it's gonna look in my head. And that's the thing, you gotta remember, um, you gotta know what you're trying to draw before you draw it. So have a picture in your head of how you want it to look, okay? So I know I'm going to have the edge of the toe coming here. I know that perspective is going to make that sort of grow a little bit like this. All right. I can start to erase a little bit of the line there. Um, I know that it's going to fade away a little bit here. And how much I faded away, let's try it here. So can you see how it moves away from the viewer, it gets smaller. And then we... Um, just begin to clean up a little bit like this. You know what, that's, um, <clears throat> I'm pretty happy with that, I think. Um, what I might do is I might erase this line and just see if I can get that. No, no, that, that's okay. What I may do here is I'm gonna cut the, I'm gonna use the marquee tool here. I'm just gonna move these legs just a little bit. I'm actually gonna cut them completely and then paste them again so it goes on a separate layer. The reason why is because I wanna move it to about here. And then I can switch back to this bottom layer and I can just clean up these little bits here which overhang without damaging the legs with the eraser. And then I can join it up. And then I can merge it down, okay? All right, right on. So. Uh, 
Well, we've got um, <clears throat> we've got the body done uh, for the most part, and you can see that um, I'm just adding in these basic shapes, and again up the top here with the neck, um, keeping things fairly basic at the moment, making sure that I like how it's positioned. Now, I can see instantly that this leg is. A little bit wrong this leg's going to be a little bit further behind so I'm going to just use the transform tool a little bit just to manipulate it a little bit smaller and uh, yeah that's not too bad I'd probably um, if I was drawing this real life I'd probably show a little bit more side of the leg but it's not too bad so that, that that's not that's okay all right now with the hands I find it easier to sometimes because what you're drawing when you're drawing a hand is you're drawing a rectangle, okay? Uh, hand and arm. You are drawing a rectangle. But that rectangle tends to bend and move and curve. And if it's on the side, then it's going to look something like that. And, you know, try and do that a little bit better. And you start to add depth to it, okay? So then, you know, you can add depth sort of going this way a little bit, you know? So you've got to, you've got to keep this in mind. Now, the way that some people will do arms is they will, um, they will sort of keep them you know, connected or something, you know, right out from the side. Um, you know, they may do it as, as uh, sort of like, literally this top half sort of doesn't remove itself very sort of game. Like for me, I really over exaggerate my arms and how they sit. It's actually the same with my feet. It's very over exaggerated. Obviously Minecraft feet don't look like that. Again, that's a style choice. You guys can choose to uh, take it or leave it. It does not bother me at all. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a nice little curve here. So I treat these as almost, the arms as almost like um, separate little bananas, pretty much. They are separate from the body. Um, usually, I actually find it a little bit easier to draw the hand first. So what I'm, and, then I, and then I know where my lines are going to connect up. Again, I'm actually going to go, I'm going to overshoot it. And see, I'm going to fade away from the viewer. I'm going to fade away. You know, I'm not going to do a square, okay? I'm going to add this level of depth. You know, these lines can join in, keeping in mind like um, a particular sort of vanishing point where these lines are disappearing to, you know, eventually these lines are going to meet up here. Hell, if it's easier, okay, I know I want this much width. Draw a, draw a dot and literally, boom, you know. And then you can erase it sort of thing. You know, that's a little bit too a uh, little bit too wide, I think, for the angle that it's on. So, you know, clean it up a little bit like that. All right, and then now uh, we're going to come down here. I'm going to match it sometimes, and this is what I do is I'll talk about this on stream. I'll make a new layer. Rather than going over it like this, because I know I'm going to overshoot it because I want to keep that line looking natural. And then, oh, you know, uh, yeah, blah, 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 race and whatever. No, 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 jump in here. <clears throat> jump to the stop layer. And you can, uh, yeah, just create a new layer quickly. And then, okay, cool, I nailed that line. I can just erase it without even worrying about anything underneath. And then, bam, Command D, and it's merged, okay? You know, that's, um, you know, I use that a lot. Especially when doing the detail stuff, you'll start seeing when I start adding in details, I'll, I'll be adding new layers all the time. And remember, this is a 3D sausage. So, um, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to pull this around like that. Um, yeah, so sometimes you've really got to sort of fill around with it a little bit. I actually think that's okay. Um, as I said, I stylize it a lot, so sometimes your angles can look a little bit janky, but um, a lot of the time these will get this will get fixed up in the detail section. Um, for the most part, that's sort of how I want it to be. I mean, <clears throat> some people will argue that the arm should be sitting, uh, you know, something like that, which, um, but it feels like it's sort of pulling away a little bit too much. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, you can muck around with it for a little bit. I, I mean, I could even sort of drop the shoulder a little bit more, maybe. Um, you know, because you are fading away from that point there. So, yeah, you know what, that's, that's not too bad. Have a play around with it, though. Make sure you're happy. And you can even uh, and then come in and then just tidy out these line works a little bit. Make sure the width of your lines are, are fairly consistent throughout. Because these are going to form the basis of, of, of what you're doing. And remember, um, uh, one of the things I like to say is remember your brush size as well. I know that I'm working at a brush size 70 and that will become important later on. 
again, as I said, I don't keep my um, I don't keep my stuff sort of you know my arms like you know connected right to the side. I uh, usually sort of will turn them in and, and stylize them quite a bit, something like this. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I know that the shield's going to sit here, so I'm going to just pull down the lines where they should sit. Um, pull out the hand where I want it, which will probably be up a little bit, maybe something like, and again, new layer, let's create the hand, uh, maybe something like that, and it's fairly straight on so we don't have too much perspective going on. And then we can go in underneath and erase what we need to without worrying about hitting our hand. All right, so um, I'm actually going to now come up here and I'll, I'll just knock this little edging off here. You can see I've given a bit, given him a bit more beef to his arm than I have over here. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sold on this arm over here. In the interest of this tutorial, we may keep it uh, like this. Just let me. There we go. That's a bit better. See how I added that fade out point. I just moved it along a little bit further. So instead of fading out here, moved along a little bit further. So you can have a play around with things. I mean, hell, guys, that's digital. You can uh, always undo if you need to. Roll back. Um, I think I like that a little bit better. And I think that'll work a lot better with the gloves as well. So you can see the arm, this, obviously this wouldn't connect up, you know, usually that would sort of swing around like that, but we don't need to worry about it too much. Um, you can see my hands, I'll still relay still, so I merge that down, so we've all got the one layer. Now I am absolutely going to create a new layer, because this is where we're going to drop in the shield, okay? So I'm going to use the circle tool in Manga Studio, the ellipse. I'm um, seeing so on about 25, so what you want to do is you want to test your circle first, check your line width. It's not bad, I'm gonna move up to about a 30 for the brush size for, yeah, I think that matches a lot better. All right, so um, basically we wanna have it on an angle, so we wanna do like a, a bit of a squished in circle, maybe something like that. I wanna, don't give it too much angle. And I wanna just twist it a little bit, maybe something along those lines, I think. Again, we'll see as we go along. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to drag that new layer onto the new layer, and that's going to create a duplicate of it. Okay, so now I've got two of those layers, just to prove it to you. I'll move it. All right, I do have two, two beautiful eyeballs, or testicles. And I'm going to now uh, move them down, like that. And I'm going to just use the transform tool to just modify these a little bit. Now, it is going to alter the um, your line width. And that's actually not a problem in this instance because this is for the shield with the you know with the, with the circles going on. So I'm going to overhang it a little bit, and that's why we keep them all on separate layers until we're happy with it. All right. Now I know I've got to go red, white, red, then the center blue circle. Okay. So I don't want to don't want to fade it out too much, otherwise it's going to start looking real flat. And then our center blue circle, which I'm going to make sure it's fairly sizable because we need to fit a star on it. It's going to be there. And see, I'm actually going to keep the edge in a little bit as well. This one here and this one here, I can merge together some, like that. And then what I can do is I can use the eraser to go around the outside. And I'm not damaging the outside of the shield at all. I'm just, I'm just erasing those circles. All right. Then I can merge it down to that bottom layer. And then I can merge that top layer down as well when I'm happy with it. You know what? That's a pretty good shield. That's okay for for this tutorial. That will that will suffice. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I can move it into position here when I'm happy with it. Again, because it's on a separate layer, I can just grab this eraser, and smash it in there. No, not really happy with that. So then I can just undo it and I can move it up a little bit and I can go. Okay, let's give this one a crack. A little bit higher. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that, I think. Maybe I just want to rotate it a little bit this way, and that's okay as well. I can do that. There we go. I'm a free spirit. I can do what I want. There we go. Looking pretty good. Okay, so now we're going to drop in our star over the top. I'm going to create a new layer again. Um, and, and this I probably will zoom in a little bit. 
This is going to be a bit of a doozy. So we know where our center point is. All right, so I know where I'm aiming. I'm just going to nice, sharp, quick strokes. Boom, boom. Oh, let me move up here. There we go. Uh, mm, yeah, that could could be all right. Yeah, that could be right. I'm dragging my hand quite um, <clears throat> quite quickly and quite lightly. If you're finding that your brush is coming out too thick, just drop your drop your brush size down. Don't be afraid. And, you know, you're allowed to do that. <laughs> All right, so we'll smash out a, um, a sweet little pentagram on his um, <laughs> on his uh, shield here. Let me pull this down a little bit. You know, again, by overshooting, it's helping a little bit. See, I'm having some trouble there, so I'm just going to slide my brush size down a little bit. I'm just using the sliders on the side of the Wacom, um, but you guys can use the square brackets or whatever shortcut you have assigned. Zoom out. Yeah, that star looks pretty good. Only one way to know. Let's knock out all the excess. Check it again. Mm, the arms are a little small, but you know what? It's that sort of stuff that people aren't really going to pick up on, so that's okay. We can do that. All right. So now we just go in here, and we're just very carefully just knocking out these center bits. So as I said, it doesn't look like he's the drummer of some heavy metal band. Whoops. And there we go. Yeah, you know what? It is a little bit janky, so I am going to jump in there, and I'm going to do it again. I'm going to try and aim for... <clears throat> pulling these down a little bit more and maybe reducing the angle a little bit as well all right never settle make sure you're happy otherwise that one section is just going to bug you for the entire piece trust me and it will probably cause you to to throw something all right I think we're gonna have the same problem with that line. Pull it down a little bit further. Ugh. My hand just keeps wanting to go there. Yeah, that's good. All right. And then we want to sort of drag this top line along about there, I think. Keep it nice and straight. Maybe not too much of an angle. I'm no professional. There we go. I think that's going to look a bit better. <clears throat> Let's have a look here. Hmm. I think we still got the same problem. We like uh, we got like skinny little munter arms, and we got sort of big legs. I don't know. I don't know. How are we looking? Mm, I think I need to. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Let's figure out what we, where we're going wrong here. Just the angle a little bit. I'm gonna do one more. Cr I'm gonna give it one more crack. <clears throat> Stars aren't my strong suite. <laughs> strong suit, whatever. It's late. All right, so let's pull this down a little bit, eh? I'm gonna be about here. Obviously, that that uh, that is gonna be a bit smaller because of where it's positioned on the shield, which is further away from us. Just like that, leg's gonna be a little bit smaller. <laughs> Third time's the charm, maybe. Yeah, right on. Third time's the charm, there we go. Now, when you're following along at home, uh, please feel free to do it in one go. You don't need to do it in three. If you want to do it in six turns, you can do that as well. It's all up to you. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I could fiddle with that star till my heart's content, but, well, to, sorry, till the cows come home, but whatever. 
No, I think I, I'm happy with that. <clears throat> and yeah. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to hide our layers a little line work, and we're going to have a look again. And we can see now how the pose is sort of generally um, starting to take shape. He looks a bit like Gumby from um, the little green man with the orange donkey. If you don't know who Gumby is, then you're too young. That's a good thing, though. All right. Now what we can do is we can play around with a few little elements here, like you just saw me just uh, do with the leg. Uh, do I prefer that? Do I prefer... No, you know what? I do prefer that. But I would probably prefer... Sorry, we'll merge everything. Oh, no. Let me just roll back a little bit. Hmm. Just pull that in a little bit there. That, that's a bit better. Alright. I can merge all these layers down so it is one layer again now that we're happy with the shield. There's no benefit to keeping it on a separate layer, except for security. I remember when I first started doing artwork, I did everything on separate layers. I had about 300 layers by the end of the project. Now I usually only have my line work and my color. And if I've got a background, it'll be on a separate layer as well. So I understand security blankets. I use them as well. Um, and, and feel free to just do with whatever you are comfortable with. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. I'm going to just tidy up some of this edging. I'm not going to be too pedantic just yet, because we still have to do the detail over the top. But you know what? I'm pretty happy with that pose. From here, aside from the shield itself, you got, I mean, you could essentially do any character now, okay? It all depends upon what, you know, obviously they need to be wearing a belt because of the belt we have um, here. But for the most part, you could, you could pretty much do whatever you like. In this case, we're going to do uh, Captain America. We're going to do uh, more of a movie version of Captain America. Because I actually like the movie, believe it or not. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on to a new layer above. So my G pen again. I'm going to drop my pen size down to about 70. It was a 70. I'm going to drop it down to not quite half, so maybe like 40 or 50. We'll play around and we'll see how we go. I'm going to turn my orange layers back on, my lines back on a little bit. In my orange lines, you can see how I've got the um, the edge of the mask coming out here. When I look at it a little bit more, I actually would prefer it to end here. And now there's two ways of doing this, okay? We can actually do this flush with the face, or we can overhang it, okay? Now what you want to do, sometimes you might want to do this, and I'm going to do it on a separate layer so I can show you guys, but... We know we're going to have these two dip down points. Now you want to be um, managing your perspective during that as well. You don't want to be matching this bottom line because if you match this bottom line the entire way with something like that, when you get to the top, it's going to be out. Okay. So at some point along this square, that line is going to become horizontal and then it's going to start moving that way. Can you see how that works? Well, that, probably not because that's a really bad example, but <clears throat> hopefully that illustrates it a little bit. So what we're going to do is, um, and what, well, what I, I can show you a trick is, if you need to, you, you feel free to add in like a little grid line, it runs along like that. You can even drop the opacity of it just so you can see it, and then it's it's easy to hit that point. No, well, actually, we want to um, we want to go up and then down and then back up and turn around. Um, there we go. Pull those suckers in like that. Can you see where I match those two points? And then you'll know that it's right, sort of perspective-wise. You're going to get sick of me saying perspective, but now yeah, get used to it. All right, so now what I can do is I can add in some, uh, add in his big schnozzer. For a nose for Minecraft characters, <clears throat> I mean, you can go the full hog if you want to and, you know, you do your full nostrils and whatever you want to do. For me, I um, I prefer the little cute nose. Um, not only is it easy to do, but um, man, except for right now, holy smokes, I did about 15 of them. Um, but yeah, it's just, you know, it's Minecraft, so things are a lot simpler, and I don't know, I just find it sits right. Now, as I was saying, with the mask, we can have it fit like this, okay? So that is, um, you know, flush to the face. Um, however, uh, the other way we can do it is have it um, uh, appear to be sitting off the face. Um, I prefer the latter. 
and I'll show you uh, a relatively easy way of doing that. We're on our detail layer, remember. So everything we're doing isn't affecting our stuff down below. Now, it's not, yeah, I mean, looking at it, the mask design itself doesn't really lend itself to sitting off the face as much as, as much as I'd like. If it ended here, it's a lot better because then you can have your face line here and then you have your mask line up here and you can really tell the difference, but that's all right. So on our detail layer, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna overhang it and I'm gonna match up to that main line again, okay? And then I'm gonna pull it in like that. And I'm gonna shade that in. Same thing here, same deal. I'm gonna pull it off and then I'm gonna pull it up here and then I'm gonna pull it way back that way. Now again, these are all on my detail layer. So what that means is I can come into this main layer here and I can just trim these little bits off. Like that. And then put this line over here. Just fill it in a little bit more. Be careful to match your line width as well. You may want to switch back uh, to that wider stroke. But that's up to you. And then you can see it, it, it's given the mask a little bit of depth. Now it's thinning off that face. We've got the chin exposed. <clears throat> How far you want to go with the mouth is completely up to you as the train drives past there, which I'm sure you all can hear. You know, um, you can absolutely add a chin if you want to. And again, then we can actually go into that layer underneath and delete it. I actually don't mind the chin, and that's a little bit of cartooniness. I might change my mind in a minute, we'll see how we go. With the face, um, I just, I mean, um, I won't go into a, a mouth drawing tutorial, you know. You guys all have ways of drawing mouths. You can see how I did it just there. It's sort of like a points down, then you have your bottom line pretty much flat curve the bottom here curve the inside throw in tongue you can have it however you want you can have it nice and open like this you know or you can have it smiling like that or you can have it like scared like this you know little squiggly bits at the end i mean when we're cartooning we can be pretty loose with what we're doing um <clears throat> we might want to square up that chin a little bit i don't know Yeah, I like the chin. I'm going to keep it. Um, but yeah, but yeah, I mean, there's a ton of different mouths. That, I mean, look, for stuff like this, this is where I say these reference images, these coloring books, uh, you know, jump on stuff like pennyarcade.com and just flick through the last sort of 10 comics and you'll get probably 10 different face shapes, uh, you know, mouth shapes and stuff like that, you know. This is all stuff you learn from looking at other stuff and exploring and, and stuff like that, so... Yeah, don't be afraid to soak all that stuff in because that's where you're going to learn. Um, yeah, even look, I guess, look through my videos and you'll see all these different face shapes. None of them are probably any good, but... <laughs> um, now, to add a little bit of 3D to this uh, mask, I'm going to do a line down here, obviously. So that looks like it's... Um, it adds an array. Yeah. Oh. So this is where I will merge this down, this detail layer, onto this top layer because I'm starting to modify both now and it's just a lot easier. Again, if you prefer the security of having them separate for now, you can. Okay. Let's see, I've got that uh, little bit seen off the face now. Now, it does mean that I probably need to come in about here. We're looking to almost match this line angle. You know, you don't want anything going up here. You know, you work with your baseline so you get your lines right. Same here. Will I need that? Probably not. You could probably get away without using that one there, but oh uh, no, nah, I will put it there. Yeah, I like that depth. I like that feeling that it's popping off a little bit. So uh, let me move my phone. I know it's vibrating a lot. Holy smokes! All right, throw it on the ground. Hopefully the the mic wasn't picking all that up. Um. All right. So now I'm gonna add my de I, obviously we uh, merged it down, so we'll add the detail layer again. Um, or we can delete that layer, the, the, the grid line layer now. 
going to surmise. Um, so, you know, he's obviously looking like he's about to jump into action, probably beat someone up or save the world or go on a hot date or something like that. So, you know, we want these, these eyes to be sort of bent over sort of thing. Eyes bent over, that doesn't really make any sense. You guys know what I mean. Probably not. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to add a little bit more circle here and then come in on the bottom like that. Yeah, that's still going to be better. <clears throat> Always uh, remove your orange lines just to see how you're sitting. Um, typically, my style is that uh, my eyes sit a lot lower on the heads than what most people will draw it. Um, I actually didn't even know that was my style until someone pointed out. They said, oh, hey, yeah. Um, um, yeah, here's my latest thing. Uh, sorry, I took your, um, uh, your your style a little bit with eye placement, and I was like, oh, I didn't know I did anything funny. But um, eyes, you guys, um, I've done a few tutorials on these before. So we do our main circle for the eye, which is more of like an oval. Then you do a little top circle, which sort of joins in a little bit. Your banana, whoop, you color the gap, and then one, two, three. All right, it's easy. Circle. Circle, banana, color, stroke. And then you got two eyes. All right, we're gonna free form the A on the top of the head. Again though, we need to be mindful of these uh, guidelines, okay? So this one at the top where the A is gonna sit is gonna pretty much match that top line. It's going to pull away a little bit, but this one here is not gonna match. If we matched that line there, can you see how that starts to if you matched it, well, actually, it's like, can you see how that looks weird now? So what you need to do, I mean, we're almost getting to the point where we're starting to get straight, okay? And that's cool. You get straight with that line because we can do that now. We're moving, as we're moving down, that line is rotating a little bit, okay? Once you get that idea in mind, you know, and sometimes it, it makes it easier to just, you know, as I said, draw the grid over the top of it and then hide everything else and see how those lines... You know, move. All right, so uh, detail layer, that's an A. So how are we gonna do the A? Drop it, bring it down like that. Bring it down like that. Again, we got, we're, we're overshooting quite a bit, but that's okay. We can clean it up. Bam, bam. Bam, 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 easy. All right. And we can leave it like that. Um, <clears throat> I know that on his head it's not, but you know, hell, I um, this is our own drawing, and this is Minecraft as well, so we can do what we want. We can we can add in a little bit of our own thing. So I'm going to add a little bit of 3D to it just to make it stick out a little bit. Potentially, when I zoom out, I might change my mind. Ooh. Well, the jury's out on that one. I think I don't know. <laughs> oh hell oh it's a tough call um let's leave it flat it looks like he's had a big goiter hanging off the top of his head which we don't really want we want a goiter free captain america so all right, sweet as. Now I'm going to merge that detail layer down. As I'm doing different sections, I'm moving those. I'm merging those detail layers down. And some whiskers. No, we don't need whiskers. All right. Oh hell, we got another star to do. That's all right. We'll do the rest first. We'll we'll save the star to last. So I'm going to work on the. Um, I'm going to work on the on the belt quickly here. I know that the center piece of the belt is going to be pretty fine. We're going to have this sitting in here, um, and then. I'm going to be drawing these bags over the top. Now these bags are pretty easy to do if we follow um, our perspective uh, stuff again. And you can really start to see now why we do this on a separate layer. Okay, so something like that. Something like that. All right, so you see I've just sort of penciled in their basic shapes. Now what I can do is I can go into that bottom layer and I can erase out the bits that I need to. Well, 
like that. All right, and then I can jump into this detail layer. Sweet. Um, all right, and then I can add in these little bits and pieces. How far you want to take this section is up to you. You can add more detail to these if you want. You can add less detail if you want. You know, go into sort of making the buckles turn out 3D. But in the end, I find I don't really need to. I find that this will usually suffice. Maybe something just like this. Indicating the lid. And zooming out. Yeah, you know what? Pretty happy with that. We'll thicken out, clean things out a little bit. Add some, um, you know, a little bit of cross hatching here and there. All right. L belt. Um, it's just going to be fairly straightforward. Design something like that. We may even add like a little bit up here just to add a little bit of depth to the belt. Um, yeah, you know, that's that's okay. That's no big deal at all. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come with these straps. Uh, so I'm going to merge that down, go up top and then uh, make another layer. I'll just try and speed this up a little bit now. I know this has uh, been going on for almost an hour. Um, and again, I, you know, because it's on a separate layer, I can sort of go over different things here. and Something like that. And that strap will fade away. I can clean these up, make sure I'm happy with them. Yep, more or less, and then what I can do is I can come in here and we've erased his chin a little bit, we will fix that up. Then on my detail layer, actually you know what, I'm going to erase even a little bit more here, a little bit more here. This might be going a little bit further than um, I need to, but you know, for this I'm actually going to split the line up just a little bit so I can... See, I'm doing shorter um, strokes rather than trying to do the whole thing at once. I guess it just gives me an opportunity to match that line a little bit better. And I'd like to think it, I would get it done quicker. A few less undos. Probably not, though. So, we got our little straps in there. Now, typically, he has them. Um, yeah, there's like a little, there's, there's sort of buckles all the way along it. Again, we're going to stylize it a little bit. I'm not going to go into all the detail. It is obviously Minecraft and it is a cartoon, so. Again, we can get away with a little bit. And so I'm going to do the buckles, something like this. Obviously, there's a lot more buckles on it and, uh, you know, different things coming in. We could even do something like this just to add a little bit more detail. I usually do another detail pass over the top of this, but I um, want to make sure that it looks okay. Yeah, I think that looks all right. And then uh, we'll separate out his uh, chest. So we're going to have white here. It's going to have a black stripe going here. And then we've got the oh so glorious star. I think if you guys are in Photoshop, there's a star tool or an illustrator. I know there is, so... <laughs> This part probably shouldn't be so difficult for you. There we go, something like that. Looking all right, yeah. All right. And then we wanna add a little bit more detail here. 
gestures to the suit itself. All these little details help guys, it helps bring out the piece a lot, a lot more. Alright, now I do know the strip here is black so I'm actually going to fill that in with black. Um, I've spoken about why sometimes I do this stuff in black now as opposed to doing it later. I won't go into it now. Um, but yeah, I prefer doing that these days. I, I like the pure black. And some little lines on top there. Um, Alright, so we jump over to the arm now. Make sure we pick our color again. Uh, we can see that. Um, and I'm not going to make this 3D. I could make this shoulder pop out a little bit more, but I think that I'm just going to leave it as it is, as part of the suit. It goes white, and then we're going to have the glove. Now the glove, I'm going to merge everything down again onto that single layer and I'm going to create a new detail layer and I'm going to use the same method for popping things out again see I'm overhanging completely I'm going to overhang a lot more down here than I am up here um, that is that's more of a style choice than anything else um, a style choice that I will sometimes reverse so I'm going to square that up like that all right and then of course I need to have one line coming here to keep it square square. Again, nice and easy, we can jump in down here. Erase, erase, erase. Oh, too much erase. All right. Let's have a look how we're looking. Yeah, you know, that looks sort of good. That's like a little cuff there. Again, we've got that difference in line uh, weight, which we can sort of fiddle with by going over the top. I can also, I'm gonna merge that down now because I'm starting to edit on both layers again. And I can also tend to this in um, certain spots, which I feel are becoming a problem. Um, You know, deal with it on a case-by-case uh, -case basis like you can see here and just all I'm doing right now is just clean up lines and I'm like okay I'll, I'll trim that down a little bit and you can see it makes it a little bit messy and janky that's all right we can then come in and just go over the top like that This line here is supposed to represent like on his glove, he's got like a little bit, a little bit extra detail. I think it just gets lost, so I'm just gonna remove it. And there we go. Sweet. On the other other side, we don't really need to worry too much because, of course, it is um, it is covered. Uh, we can add some little lines here, and of course, we add some little cross hatching down here. Fade in these different sections, and. Uh, it's like a little uh, a little strap which seems to come across here, so I'll just add that in now. Something like that, and you can start to see that the top show uh, the top half is looking pretty good. I can see that on his costume he has a little design implanted here. It's like an artificial six pack. Something like that. Easy. Now, legs, we're going to do the same thing. New um, detail layer. I'm going to overhang things the same way. I'm going to draw a little box for the front, which overhangs on either side. And I'm going to, yeah, I think fade it out. Keeping it sort of curvy might be the way to go. And fade this out going this way. Same thing here. Draw that front box first. I usually find that a little bit easier. Just 
something like that. Um, and then you can just jump in here. See how easy it is with Minecraft? You just basically keep adding squares. <laughs> um, and then sweet. You can fill in that back section there. You can fill in that back section there. All right, starting to come together now. Um, so we got boots. Um, he's got these little patterns on his legs. We're not going to fit the whole thing in, but we will do as much as we can here, which is pretty much something like this. I mean, we're not doing um, Captain America issue one front cover or anything like that, guys. So. We want to keep his uh, lightness as close as possible, but it ain't no movie poster or comic book double spread. All right. See these extra details do help uh, sort of flesh things out a little bit. <clears throat> For the boots, I, I generally will just run like a line underneath or something like that. This extra detail just... You know, little um, little bits and pieces like that just real I seem to find really really help and then some cross hatching under here cross hatching under here and then the boots themselves I'll usually drop a line on the outside 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 and then you got it match it up Ooh. Something like that. Oops. That's okay. All right, and then we can, oh, we did it on the wrong way. So now you can see the difference if we don't. <laughs> oh man. What a goob, what a goob, what a goob. Told you it was getting late for me. <laughs> There we go. All right, so <clears throat> we can see that our Captain America is really pretty much there now. I can start to see a few little things. I sort of exaggerated that uh, that line a little bit too much, I think. I can just tidy that up a little bit now. No harm done. Sometimes with gloves as well, you'll see some people will do this. I did it sometimes as well, is Rather than do that full line that joins, you want to sort of just come down to something. Maybe not all the way. Something like that. <coughs> Rotated the canvas now. So that's uh I mean yeah we're looking uh, we're looking pretty good. I reckon we could probably move to colour now. What I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna split this tutorial up into uh, two parts. One of the things that is frustrating me a little I think is the proportions here, so I'm just gonna do a quick fix and see if I prefer it. No, that's okay. All right, so now I'm gonna do that. You know how I say that I'm gonna do some extra detail over the top? I'm gonna to do that now. So now I'll generally sort of, I don't usually make a new layer for this. And it's more just this little sort of shading, little hatching, sort of cleaning things up a little bit. You know, this line here could be 
tape it a little bit. Um, yeah, generally, I think it's okay. Um, this line's a bit janky. Do some extra details here. I'm not sure what's happening here. Oh, it's the side of the arm, so. Um, sometimes I'll even sort of <coughs> shade that completely. Uh, I don't mind that. And uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think other than that, it's looking pretty, pretty good to go. Let me just start filling around a little bit here. I can go on for ages just with this section alone. Make sure you're saving, of course. Sometimes I'll even sort of, you know, do the little over the top. in the corners all right guys so that is pretty much going to do me for here um where the next step is obviously color uh but yeah i'm going to do that in a separate video because i know this one's gone for about an hour now already um, i'm going to try and cut out as much as i can but i don't really think there is any that i can cut out so um yeah my apologies for that i did want to make this all the one video but um, a little bit longer than what I thought, so um, I will get the uh, color version up, um, you, you know, probably uh, tomorrow or the day after, um, you know, I'll try and get it up relatively quickly. I should record it all um, now in the one sitting, but uh, yeah. So uh, I, hopefully this helped, guys. Hopefully this is what you're uh, chasing, and uh, if it is, you know, I would love to make this a regular thing, so if you want me to draw a character in real speed, like that and explain everything as I go. Um, I'm more than happy to do that. You know, whether it be a once a week thing or something like that. Just tell me you enjoy it if you if you do, and I uh, you know that's something that I can um, I can figure out for sure. So uh, drop us a like, drop us a um, you know a comment or something like that, or, or tell me what you think, and also let me know how you went. Um, I will have that uh, the rough line work up for um, download in the description below. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter, uh, Facebook. You guys all know that stuff. And, and watch the streams as well. If you have any questions, the streams are the best place to ask questions. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, um, hopefully you guys dig this. Hopefully it helped. And um, I don't think i got anything much more to say besides, uh, yeah, thanks for that. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in color. And um, color is when we really start to... Um, to uh, pop things out so uh, yeah i think you guys will will, uh, will dig that for sure so uh yeah all right until then guys i will uh, i'll see you then okay bye